what do we have here? Guys, our day started with us unable to get on the virtual queue at 7 a.m. from home. But we got lucky and at 1 o'clock when that virtual queue opened up again, we got boarding group 140. I hope to show you a little bit of the ride today and give you my honest opinion and review. After all, I do get seasick and I do suffer from vertigo. Just to give you a little insight on me, I do take motion sickness medication when I'm in the parks and I think I'm gonna go on something. I did already take ginger this morning, some ginger supplements, and I took boning, which is just like Dramamine, in hopes to avoid getting sick on the ride. So fingers crossed. So once you get your queue and your queue number, we're boarding number 140 for Guardians of the Galaxy, by the way. You're gonna get a timeline or how many minutes before your numbers are called. Originally, it was showing like 310 minutes. We're down to 200 minutes. So that is give or take about two hours, just over two hours. And we've got some time to kill. Take time to walk around the showcase, maybe check out some of the foods you haven't checked out. Although I'm a little nervous about eating before getting on the ride, I gotta tell you. Or go on other rides. If there's low weights, go for it. Look at Minnie! We decided to go visit Anna and Elsa while we wait for our number in the queue to get called to get on Guardians of the Galaxy. Rewind is ready for you guys to come on into the line. You're gonna get some notification and it's time to head there for us right now. By 5:20 we should be there. It's about five o'clock, so we're taking our walk and headed to the ride. I'm so excited and I'm so nervous. Oh my god. We're waiting to see if the rain dies down a little bit. My honey has his gimbal somewhat protected, or he's trying. We've got umbrellas in hand, but it's time for us to get on Cosmic. We may have no choice but to run in that rain. <laughs> and its singular star is quite beautiful. Three stars or suns. Two yellow. Its wings can flare out and form a star shape. What a cool and super, super immersive cube. It's immersive because it's showing you all this history about Zandorian and it's showing you even what we just walked by, which is all of the costumes that they wear. It's got a spaceship like the one that's outside of the ride. This queue is really, really awesome. Demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. 
I trust you will find it. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Welcome, Epcot Terrence. We just got off Guardians of the Galaxy Galaxy Rewind or Cosmic Rewind. I keep calling it the wrong thing. Guys, actually we did not just get off. I needed a good 10 to 15 minutes to stabilize my stomach because I almost hurled. But I didn't hurl. <laughs> almost did though. I will not be riding that again. But for you guys who love roller coasters, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. If I was a roller coaster lover, if I didn't suffer from motion sickness, this ride is unbelievable. It is very smooth. If you've ever been on rock and roller coaster, it is as smooth as rock and roller coaster. It doesn't spin around completely, but it does spin you within the ride. And there's a lot going on with the screen. There's a lot going on on the ride. So there was a point where I realized if I don't close my eyes, I'm gonna get really sick. So I did close my eyes for about half, probably a little more than half of the ride because I was afraid that I was gonna get sick. I got off the ride very shaky and kind of queasy. My honey, Marky Mouse said that I was really cold and pale. He thought I was gonna pass out. And I told him I just need to sit down. So I put the, the cooling towel around me. I drank some water. I took a deep breath. And it took me about 15 minutes to get that queasy feel, you know, out of my system and, and start feeling normal again. But I will tell you, it is like nothing you will ever ride. It is a, it's just incredible. Super, super smooth, super fast. It's the fastest ride I've ever been on. I can handle rock and roller coaster really well. I'm gonna compare it to rock and roller coaster and the way it moves, but it's not like rock and roller coaster. It's like nothing you've ever been on. I took two bonings today. Boning is like Dramamine. I also took ginger supplements ahead of getting here. And I think that's what helped me. Had I not taken any of that, I would have come out of there throwing up. So I just wanna give you a heads up about that. It is a great ride though. If you guys can handle it, if you handle motion well, then please ride it because you're gonna be missing out on the best ride in Disney World. Um, but I unfortunately will not be going on it again because one time that's all I needed and I'm glad I did it. So no steep drops, no steep inversions, but there's a lot of movement in the cart. There's a lot going on on the screen. Um, by, the, by the way, the song that we got, there's a lot of different songs you can get. We got um, Plaga Seagulls. Thank you, I forgot I what ran. that was. I ran. And I'm so glad we got that because there's a particular song I didn't want to get. So I'm so happy that we got Plaga Seagulls. That's going to conclude this vlog. We did enjoy the ride a lot. I'm pretty sure my honey, Marky Mouse, is going to go back on Cosmic Rewind. Me, not so much, but I got to tell you, it really is an incredible ride. I can appreciate all of the technology that has gone into it. I've been on nothing like that. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to ruin it for you. It's just unbelievable. That's all I can say. It's unbelievable. The way the cart moves you, it's the way it works with the screen. Sometimes you think you're going forward and you're really not going forward. You're going backwards or sideways. That's all I'm going to say. Get on Cosmic Rewind if you can. <laughs> Unless you're someone like me that could get sick, prepare, ride it, and then see how you felt. <laughs>